for an international trip. They are, Aaron. Thank you. Arizona basketball will be saying buenos dias later this week. The Wildcats are headed to Spain to play three exhibition games beginning on Sunday. It's not really about trying to go three, you know. It's more about getting game experience. It's nice to play games, but uh, I don't know what the competition is going to be like. I, I don't even think that's our end game. I don't, if we're playing a great team and, and we lose, we're playing a bad team and we win by a lot. That's not the purpose. The purpose is, is to get the camaraderie built. The trip to Spain is going to be a lot of fun, man. Um, get to know a lot of the new guys, get to build some camaraderie together. And um, just, you know, anytime you can start playing basketball early, that's great for us. They are one of the best, you know, basketball uh, tra traditions in the world. So, you know, I'm happy to be there. And I think uh, it's going to be it's going to be a great thing for, for the whole team to, you know, have opportunity to play against some, some other teams from other countries. Now the Wildcats could make a stop in New Jersey along the way, at least figuratively. Tonight, five-star guard Javon Quinterly is expected to make his college choice. The Jersey City native is choosing between Arizona and nearby Villanova. Well, it was one year ago early this morning. That's when the Wildcats, the football team, lost Zach Himmel up as he passed away from a mixture of prescription drugs. U of A mourned and then honored their senior center throughout last season. Hemelo was just 22 years old. He was from Chandler and had been with the program for five years. There were pregame ceremonies involving his family a couple different times. U of A wore helmet stickers while coaches wore patches on their shirts during games. His death was ruled an accident. Uh, last night I asked Rich Rodriguez how often he thinks of Hemelo. Just about every day. You know, we have uh, reminders. I have him in my office. Without question, it's the worst things ever happened to me in my coaching career, and uh, it was hard on all of us. I was proud how our guys handled the adversity, but it was a tough moment, and uh, his family is will always be part of our family. How much do you miss him? A lot. I mean, it's one of your brothers, you know, when somebody passes like that, just it was so unexpected. A recent University of Arizona grad Sage Watson is competing in the hurdles, the world championships in London. She is third on the inside. Watson is representing Canada, but still trains here in Tucson. This is the semifinals where she finished second today, and that is good enough to advance to the 400 meter hurdle finals. That is gonna play, take place Thursday afternoon in London. And it's the Diamondbacks and the Dodgers tonight at Chase Field. The Dodgers 44 and 7 in their last 51 games. We're coming right back after this on K Gun 9. Stay with us.